Conditional logic is an essential functionality of any form. It, it allows you to toggle visibility for individual fields and bottoms, changing in real time to collect the most relevant information from the visitor. Sadly, the element of ProForm doesn't come with this inbuilt function. Today, I present you a simple solution combining Elementor and the powerful dynamic add-on for Elementor. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Natalie from Sites with Natalie. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. Here are my plugins list, Dynamic Ho Ho Ho, Elementor Free and the Pro version. If you are planning to buy an Elementor or Dynamic license for your business, please use my links located in the description box below. I really appreciate your support. I'm going to present you with some examples you can use. I'm going to use my contact page. I drag in an Elementor form. For the three fields, I delete the labels. Much better now, as it takes much less space. To add a new field is a very simple process. Just click on the Add New Item button. Under the Content section, you must decide what the field type is. There is a multitude of options. For my first demo example, I need to create a select field type, in other words, a drop down list, so my user knows the options I offer. Under the Options box, I enter my multiple options. Enter each option in a separate line. If you need to separate information between label and value, use a single pipe char key. It has labels and values separated with a pipe char, as you can view from, from your right hand side. The user can select the item. The pipe char symbol or vertical symbol hides the values. In the Advanced tab, you should have defined the ID for each field type. I change the computer in lowercase. Next move is to add a new field to calculate the total amount with the use of an expression in a minute. I add in another select field type. This time, I input extra information regarding my product. Once more, I use the pipe chart to separate values and labels. I use a custom label to encourage the user. In the Advanced tab, I change the ID to some meaningful label. Just highlight the characters and replace them with your label. To calculate the total amount for these two fields, I added a new field type. I go with amount field type. For the expression, you can mix with tokens where you input the form field ID you have named grouped inside square brackets. Alternatively, you can use instead JavaScript math method. I input the math expression to sum up the two values. You can also personalize the text after or before the total amount. As for me, I enter euros. On the front end, let's try out. I select in my desired computer from the drop down list, and then I specify I want a red computer. As you can check, the total amount is calculated and the user gets the budget he needs. Selecting the second computer option from the drop down list with a gray color variation. The total amount is calculated. My second demo scenario is to set up and configure an interactive slider with my Elementor Pro form. This field type allows the user to set the number value. The user specifies a numeric value which must be no less than a given value. Let me show you how it is works. You define the three values, the minimum, the maximum and the gap. The step is the slider gap value. In the advanced step, change the ID to a logic range name. I personalize the text before as well. In the style tab, you can stylize further. Under the uh, slider, for example, I change the, its color to match my design layout. And then let's adjust the amount expression in order to sum up all the fields. Select the amount field now. Before that, let's test out the range field. Just drag the slider right. Cool. You can also rearrange the field's order. Just select and drag up or down. 
I paste then the expression containing all the field types. Remember, always use the square brackets to separate form fields and use the commonly met formulas. The dynamic plugin offers as well the feature to update on two ways input or change. The input option will update on every key pressed and the change option is to only update it when the field is blurred, meaning it is best when you have performance issues. Checking now with you on the front end. I choose one computer with a color. I dragged the slider to the right so we can check if this is working fine. As you can see, the total amount result is updated. Fantastic! My next demo example is to present you the new dynamic select field from the dynamic plugin. It is a select field where the list of options change dynamically according to the value of another field. This is indeed a powerful and a more advanced field type you can use on your store. Add a new item and go with a select field type. In the box, enter your values and labels. In the advanced, adjust the ID accordingly. Then I add a new field type. This time is a dynamic select field. Change the ID. So, as I said before, the list of options dynamically changes based on the value of another field. There's a reference field. The reference field is written inside square brackets followed by all the available options. In the previous field, I have already defined my three options, France, Italy and Portugal. I enter my three options involved in square brackets. In each one, it contains as well all the available options. I have decided to add an extra fee. Under the reference field is where you set up the ID of the other field. For me, is country. I change the ID to dynamic, so I am able to write my amount expression. I added finally an amount field type below to sum up all these fields. I inserted the expression containing the IDs. It's a regular MAT formula. Checking is always a good practice. I selected the red MacBook computer. The price is calculated. And then I select the country I live in. Immediately it displays the additional fee for this product. This is just a mere example to show you how it works. I changed the Italy option. The price gets updated. I selected Portugal and the price is updated as the option changes. Finally, my last demo example is to set up a custom conditional field. What I want to do is to only display the amount field when the user writes down a name. So the name field is the trigger event. You can make your custom condition in the dynamic website. Here you can test and generate the condition you need in just a few clicks with the logic operators to check conditions for your conditional fields. So to achieve what I want to do with my condition and to not show the amount field, Select the amount field, under conditions, click on the hide high symbol. I insert my condition. Basically, I'm saying do not show off if the name field type is empty. Update. Let's check now. I leave the name field type empty. The amount field type is hidden. Then I write down a random name. The amount field type is displaying the total amount as I define my choices. As you can see, it's super easy to make your own Elementor Pro forms with your custom conditions and triggers with Dynamic Plugin. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.